Come in, germ. Day, Colonel. You spilled your coffee all over my desk, and your data cards are no longer readable. It's not coffee, sir. It's a latte. Okay, anyway. So, here is the giant matrix. It's a 6x6. Six six. I tell you, it's very big. That's what she said. Two. I didn't quite get this one. So I will roleplay a little bit. I'm Doug Dickens. I have no idea about flight test, but I know about the Black Hawk. No, wait. I'm no longer Doug Dickens, now I'm a test pilot. You are my flight testee, but I'm a bad test pilot. Not bad, but very new. The first question is... What is NR? It's the N. Due to R, which is YAR8. So, N due to YAR8, and N is roll or. Yeah. I think it's roll. Or maybe it's. Yeah. It's a damping. No. It's a coupling from roll to. Yeah. To. Yeah. Or roll. I will stop you there. You are on the right track. Next question. What is the spiral discriminant? It's the NRLV minus RLNRV. Sorry? It's the NVLV minus RLVRV. What? It's the NVLR minus NNVV. No, not NNVV. Wait, I'll get it right. It's the NRMV minus RVLN. Maybe. Next question. Germ, what is effective dihedral? LV. No. Okay, if it's not LV, it must be. NR? No. LR? No, germ. You were on the right track. You were right the first time. Be more confident. What is N delta lat? Adversial. No. Directional stability? No. Dihedral effect? Nope, you were right the first time, germ. The nuge. Next question you need to get this one right, germ. What is the mission relation of having a big directional stability? Give me in scenario. Tell me about a mission that highlights the effect of having too much of it. You know, a flying mission that is adversely affected by too much directional stability. Let me help you a little bit more. You are flying, and, no not you, you are a flight testee. A pilot is flying, and it's harder for him to you understand. Good job. Yes sir. Alright that was a good prog check you did okay you're not great. But you're not the worst anyway, good enough for a flight test T. Thanks sir.